Listen, let's get back to the thing, because I want to know why a woman should be a safe space for a man, in your opinion. Okay, should I play a clip? Wait, wait, wait. Should we play? Oh, wait. Do we need to play the main clip? Or wait, you want to no, play? No. I want to play the clip that okay. that the, that helped me come up with this idea. Okay, let's play that. Let's let's see this bull. Here. Let's see. All right, let's see here. She's. Uh, you got to share it. There we go. All right, so here we go. Add it to the stage. All right, what do we have? If I'm not able to be born. Oh, stop. Come on, man. Stay. Really? Really? No, you 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 got it muted. Are you serious? What? what to... Man, go ahead. This, but hey, 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 guys, hey, hey, gentlemen, please go pee or something because this is about to be very feminine. This is about to be very feminine right I'm here. Not able to be vulnerable with my spouse, with my woman. Then oh. if I'm not able to be vulnerable with my spouse, with my woman, then I feel unsafe being my true self with my woman how crazy does that sound that means you will live with a woman 10 20 years you put a ring on her finger and have babies with her you don't know the inside of her body with your body but you can't be the real you in her presence you they, can't take stop, off the mask if the goal is to stop. please stop wait we'll fit wait 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 gentlemen oh no it's only 43 seconds uh, so sorry, it's i'm sorry go ahead i'm sorry please continue please finish please finish take off the mask then we're gonna take, take off the off. mask yeah there gotta be a moment in your life where you could come home toss everything down and say look it was hard today and it should be safe to be that way there are places and people that you feel unsafe with god forbid that be the person that you lay your head with oh you. my god all right all right all right so let's all right let hey, hey, all my guys gentlemen let me tell y'all something there's going to come a time in your life, gentlemen, a woman's going to come up to you and say, baby, you know what? I care about you. And I really, I really like what we have going on. It's okay to share how you feel. Tell me what you think. I mean, we want to bond, gentlemen, right? And the moment you start letting your feelings go, they're going to say, you weak bitch. You want to know why? Because women don't want to date their girlfriends or other women and that guy right there and ladies y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself thinking that a man should do something like that that is that is gentlemen some I, wait let me talk to the ladies real quick ladies there are guys out there that want to tell you what you want to hear and not what you need to know and every guy that's, that is telling other men to tell you their feelings express themselves cry be soft be emotional and all that other stuff you ladies know y'all don't want those hey hey dana how many of these women right now have guys like that on their roster right now how many la ladies how many guys you have right now that is soft that you know what i really care about you and you hurt my feelings today when i reached out to you that ladies come on let's be honest Let's be honest, ladies. How many do you have right now on your little roster that you're not giving the time of day because he's very soft? Okay, so like I said, providing oh. a safe space doesn't mean validating him or um or your man being soft. Listen, you if you have if you are a very busy man, you have a very demanding career. Okay. You come home and a lot of times your woman, your woman is the only one that you could probably confide in to a certain degree. So again, I would not look at my man as being weak if he is frustrated and he shares with me his frustration or something that's on his mind. If I was to sit up here and be like, you weak as hell or, you know, push or, or just dis be dismissive, then that's wrong. No, it's like, you don't do that. That That's not, that's not what, that's not what you're supposed to do. Now I'm not saying come and boohoo and, and be a mama's boy, but men have feelings too. And they don't think you are not allowed to express it. You don't express you don't confide in people. You may confide in, you don't even confide in your boy. So Sometimes, like he said, that woman who you married or who you had kids with, who you've been with for a certain period of time, a lot of times that's the only one 
your only outlet at times, not every time. So when I when I think of safe space, I think of confidentiality. This is why I I don't talk about my person what goes on in my personal life. If I have a man and he done slept with 400 women, I would never come on social media and say anything of that matter. You see what I'm saying? I would never share that. Not even my so-called friends. All right, anonymous. What's your name? Where you calling from, sir? What's up? Thank you, RL. Talking about lizard people. Man, that- get off our shit, man. Anyway, let's get back. Anyway, so look, check this out. So this this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. The thing that most young men on that that people lie about. So again, everybody's trying to find a way to get women. Okay, D, and they're trying to find a cheat code to get in between a woman's legs. And these women will always lie to you guys about how to get between their legs by throwing you off the scent. And I'm telling you guys, look at a woman's profile and any woman you're talking to, you know, they're going to tell you, I want a sensitive, understanding guy that can share his feelings and share his emotions so we can have a deeper connection so our love can blossom and all that other fairy tale BS that a lot of people say. But real quick, we want to say thank you to Super Chat. Thank you for the Super Chat right there, man. Thank, thank you, you, G. G. Thank you, G. That's G. Let's get it, G. Thank you, G. Yeah. He said, I agree with him 100%. Leave that work at work uh, to, to be my safe place. Sorry, Dana, but he's right. I'll keep uh, his secrets. Here's the thing. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a woman saying she'll keep a man's secrets? Well, I, don't know I, mean. I don't know. I don't know if it's a yeah. woman. I don't know if it's a woman. That, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But what I'm, saying, what I'm saying is this. Is that, no, hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. I like the deeper connection because I am the deeper connection, but I don't need to, I don't need to be feminine to get, to create a deep. Okay. Here's the problem, Dana. See, women don't know what they actually want because think about this. Dana. Just think about this for, uh, 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 for a second. How many women ask for what they want? An emotional, effeminate male and they have all these guys that are willing to be soft and emotional where they would take their spine and their balls off and put it in their purse. They will cry. They will express their emotions when they're upset. They tell them all the time, you hurt my feelings. I don't like the way you talk to me. Can, can we discuss this? And how many of these women just blow these guys to the side for the a-holes that are not emotional, that stand on their square, that don't show any chink in the armor. See, remember, it's all about the chink in the armor. Women do not want soft guys, Dana. They're going to act like it, but they don't want it. Space for your man to not make him soft. It does. What? Wait, 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 wait. So you tell me that guy that just said that video. I want to ask you about the video. What in the video that you disagree with what he said? What bothered you the most? Everything bothered me. What he's saying? Let's all right. Let's wait. Let's go to the video, and I, I'll tell you where to stop. And I will break systematically break down this bull. All right. So wait. Let me add this. All right. So let's go to the beginning. I'll tell you to pause, and I'll tell you where where he went wrong. If I'm not able to be vulnerable with my spouse, with my woman, stop, then stop, I feel- stop, 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 <laughs> gentlemen. You are the rock in the relationship. You are not supposed to cry, whimper, or anything around your woman. You must show strength. Women do not want men whose coochie is tighter than hers. And the first thing that he's saying, D, is he's saying that, listen, guys, put on your panties. Put on a little dress and some makeup on and have a wine, uh, a wine moment with your wife or your girlfriend to tell her about the boogeyman outside your door. So you can be hailed by her. She rubs your weak face and tell you it's all right. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. First of all, I don't have a problem with my man being vulnerable. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> I don't want you to. 
I don't. First of all, you're hard ninety oh. percent of the time. I don't need you to be hard all the time. Oh, I'm in it just hard twenty four seven, and that's too much. Oh, oh. oh man. Let me just say this. Let me just say this for context as well, because don't that doesn't. When I say safe, safe place. That doesn't mean as soon as you meet a woman, be vulnerable, be open, and just leave with her as your safe place. You don't know her. So well, you know, I have this investment. Men don't attack other men. Listen, when you gentlemen, I'm telling you guys, all the guys listen to me. Just just think for a second. Where has being soft, nice, kind, caring, and thoughtful got you with the woman? The friend zone. The friend zone, and you guys don't listen. You go. Oh, you answer this question, Steve, and I'm gonna play. Let, let, let's keep. Let's keep playing. Let's just keep playing. Go ahead. Let me. Let me just. This question here is. Yes. What is wrong with? Let's just say you are the asshole, right? In the yes. beginning, yes. and you you dig her, and you you know you start taking her seriously. You end up in a relationship. Sometimes the asshole can soften up a little bit once he has invested in that relationship down the line so sometimes the asshole can turn into a safe place no uh, you, you uh, okay you're king all the time gentlemen you do not share weakness if you need to talk to somebody talk to your boy that can punch you in your weak chest and wake you up the moment you share vulnerable guys get your crayons out because women don't want to tell you this the moment you share vulnerability with your woman, you have just given her ammunition to use against you later on down the line. You, The moment you start to share your, your little spineless little heart and start to shed a little tear and say, well, you know what? My daddy never pushed me on a swing and I just don't understand why. And she's going to be like, that's okay, baby. That's okay. I got you. And then guess what? Then y'all get in that argument. Y'all break up. And she's going to say, that's why your punk ass daddy didn't do that. I'll tell you guys. Don't well, number two. Um, grab Jay's question. Uh, Jay's, oh, we got a few questions to ask. I know, but I know, okay. I know. Okay. okay, I got, I got, I got Jay's locked in. I see the questions. I'm, I got them locked in, but uh, let's keep playing this video so I can help my guys out so they don't lose sight of the game. Being my true self with my woman. How crazy does that sound? That means you will live with a woman 10, 20 years. You put a ring on her finger have babies with her you know known the inside of her body yes your body but yes. you can't be the real you in her presence you can't take off the mask if the goal is to take off the mask no. then we're gonna take, take off the off. mask yeah. no God. no there is no mask with a ma d i'm not saying listen as men and males okay the world is not a nice place it's not it's never been a nice place but you never come home to complain or seek validation from a woman to feel like a man, D. That's the problem. If I'm looking for a woman to define me as a man, then I am not a man at all. Why would I look for a woman? Baby, you got to be. Okay. And again, we get that K. Michelle. You know, when they talk about someone passing. Away. Listen, even in death, if you got to cry, I tell them all the time, D. Gentlemen, if you got to cry, do not cry in front of your woman you get in a car you drive to the middle of nowhere and boohoo your little punk ass eyes out and then go back home and get back into the game never show weakness or be weak around a woman because they don't respect weak d they don't respect it but let's continue uh, let's see come on let's get it gotta be a moment in your life where you could come home Toss everything down and say, look, it was hard today. And it should be safe to be that way. There no. are places. I, 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 you, 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 you can say, you know what? I had a, okay. You know what, baby? You know, she gives you a, a you know, baby, it is a tough day at work. But I'm not going to complain about it. it was just, you know, work was work. How was work today? It was all right, baby. It was cool. I got it. Even if work was hard on you, you know, shit. You See, men don't understand strength. And men should never go to a woman showing weakness. I'm gentlemen, all these women out here, 
will try to tell you, be weak around me. But guys, think about what we got you when y'all were in high school or in college. And you listen to that woman telling you, go ahead and express yourself. Tell me how you feel. You can cry. You can tell me your deep rooted things. And the moment you said that she friend zoned you, she got rid of you. Come on, man. Now let's get to the last bit of this silly ass thing he's saying, man. And we got questions as well. We'll answer questions as well. But safe with God forbid that be the person that you lay your head with every night. You in her. This is sad. That, 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 that is that is ultimately sad. That uh, D, come on, D. You uh, can mute up so I could so I could say I wrote down my little notes, honey, because all right, go ahead. I have a damn panic attack. First I, of all, this bothers me, man. This is don't crazy. Act like don't act like. Men yeah. never cry in front of their women. What is that? I don't know if that feedback is my end. What? Okay, you ever saw the show Vikings? Y yes. Love it. I love uh, it. Ragnar, he cried to Lagatha when she was leaving him. And remember, he ran to the thing. Oh, so, wow. and, and I'm sorry, that's as hard of a man as it come, honey. I yeah. love, I love, first of all, I love all Viking movies and stuff like that. Also, also, the whole thing with this was so much content going around on YouTube and social media, fixing a man a plate to where, why is it? Because men used to be debating with certain women that when you have a family and a woman is cooking, you make the plate for your man first and you serve it to him. So that's so again, so that's still taking care, catering to providing that safe place or that place of comfort for your man so again so don't throw out everything like oh you can't you have to be hard all the time you have to be an asshole all the time and it's like no because if she is the one especially if she's the one if she's a good woman let's just say if she's a good woman right because the one is fairy tale if she's a good woman and you have to know a good woman a lot of men don't know a good woman when they see one they just don't but if she's a good woman with good character and you have invested in, you develop into this healthy relationship, vulnerability is going to show up. You're going to have to have to provide a safe place for you and her, for you, for, for her and for him. There's nothing wrong being sweet on your woman. OK, I'm not talking about being sweet. I'm talking about the loyalty, being someone's confidant. I'm talking about being that ride or die. I'm talking about just, you know, when when everybody kicking that man's back in you're not kicking his back in 